Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about the fourth problem from the lead code bi-weekly contest 83. The problem is shortest impossible sequence of roles. Okay, so the problem statement goes like this, that you are given an integer array roles, as you can see, of length n and an integer k as well. Now, you roll a k-sided dice from 1 till k, fine, n times, where the result of that roll is given to you in the roles. So, you have a k-sided dice, you roll it n times and you have those results as well as in this role array. Read on the length of the shortest sequence of role that cannot be taken from roles. Now this might seem very confusing to you when I also read this I get some confused but understand like read the whole statement if you had get some confusion and it will become more clear to you. So return the length of the shortest sequence of roles that cannot be taken from roles that is fine. A sequence of role of length L is the result of rolling k sided dice length times Note that the sequence taken does not have to be consecutive as long as it is in order. Still you have doubts, I'll make you clear. So what you are actually trying to say is that you have a case sided dice, you roll it number of times. Now let's say what is the possible type of sequences you can get of length one. Let's say you have a case sided dice of length like of side four. Let's take an example only. Let's say that you have a k sided dice, okay, of side of uh, length like n equal to k. Not sorry, let's say uh, k equal to 4. Now, can you tell me if you just roll the dice only once, what all are the possible answers you can get? The possible answers you can get that in the first row I can get 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. So, the one length sequences I can get from a dice of k equal to 4 are 4 these 4 are the options similarly the length equal to 1 length equal to 1 similarly if i have length equal to 2 which means that if i roll the dice twice what all are the possible sequences you can get i can get 1 1 10 1 2 1 3 1 4 similarly 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 4 4 1 4 2 4 3 4 4 so these all are the possible sequences i can get what the point so this is of length 2 now i will not be drawing for length 3 because it will be very large but i hope you get the point so what they are trying to say is that you are given this rolls array okay now what is the smallest sequence of roles that you cannot get if you take out a sub like you can see just a subset in the order from this whole roles by order i means i'll just verify my statement once again let's say that i start from the very first can i get a subset like just if i just pick out numbers from the same order right? don't change order can i get a one from this yes i can get a one can i get two three four i can get just just take this two Three, four, fine. Can I get one one? So if I just take this one and this one, I can get one one. Got the point? So they have rolled these dices and they want that. Thus, if I pick out two numbers in the same sequence that they have rolled, can I get a sequence that is all like that is possible from this length? So if every two length subsequence you can pick out from this roll array, then you can form any sequence of length two from this array what is the smallest sequence you cannot form length of that so which means that every, so the answer is three which means that every two length like two numbers sub like sequence you can form you can pick out from this whole rolls so if you want to take two one two one two 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 three two four three one three one three two three four three three so every sequence you can take out from this rolls i hope you get the point by picking out the numbers in the same order got it so but I cannot get a 3, like maybe some 3 letter I can get, but what is the one in which I will definitely not get. So every 2 letter if I get, the answer is not 2. Every 1 letter I get, I, I will not, the answer is not 1. Every 3 letter should I, I should be getting. So every 3 letter is not here, so that is why the answer is 3. Got it? Now, how are you going to approach this problem? Though it seems very difficult for you, but what you can directly observe here is that, let's run into the drawing board. For a sequence to be having like 
to be having at least of length one like i should be getting out every character like every sequence of length one if let's say a dice is of let's say k equal to four only so all the four numbers should be there like one should be there in the rolls two three four every should like everything should be in the rolls array because if it is not in the rolls array then obviously like let's say four is not there so i can i can definitely say that i can i should not like i am not able to get a sequence of four which is of length one so the answer is one okay you got the point so i should be getting out all the numbers but let's say there is some number that are redundant let's say it is having okay got it. let's say the, the array is like this one one three four does it make any difference or maybe it has double three or like like this does it make any difference no why because still i can get out all the sequences of length one what the point so what i'll do is now let's say i will start checking for length two like what is the like can i get all the sequence of length two for that if i can get all the sequence of length till here because see what you can directly observe is like this is some some sort little bit tricky but what you can understand is that this is the first part like I, so let's say I, i want to make any sequence let's say of length two so i will get one number from this from the key sided dice and one number here so to pick this this number i i can pick any number like any number from 1 till 4 so any number i can pick from 1 till 4 from this part because i definitely will not take every number from 1 till 4 is present here but for again 1 to 4 it to be present i have to pick out from the next window why because in the next window only i can get the next number till 4 because till this window i have seen all the numbers till 1 to 4 Okay, if I make this window smaller, like if if I want to adjust two windows here, like let's say two windows, one and one, like picking out some win some number for this part from this window, from this part from this window, then this window doesn't have three. So I have to form a window in which all the numbers from one till k are present for giving me the first position answer. Similarly, for the second position, I have to get one more window in which all the numbers from one till four are present, or like one to k are present. What the point? Because so what what our main strategy is now building is that I should be forming out continuous windows in which one till k numbers are all present. If one till k numbers are all present, then that window is eligible to fill the first position in the subsequent like in the sequence that I want to form. Then I'll again check is one to four again like one to k all numbers are all again present. If they're present, I will be eligible to fill the second position. If again one till k present, I will again eligible to form the second next position. But if at at any position I will not be able to win, form a window of one till k, then at this position I will not be able to form, and thus I can only form a sequence of length two. That's the logic here. Nothing much complicated. So the code is also very small because the logic is also very small. So what I'll do is that what we are trying to do here is that um, cool, 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 cool. So yeah, I'll iterate over this whole rolls array. this whole uh this array and what i'll do is i'll keep on adding whatever number i have in map okay i'll I have to add 1 2 if i seen the same number like if this number is seen again then it doesn't matter to us but i will only update unique numbers okay and whenever my unique numbers count become equal to k i have k numbers because i want from 1 till k then i have that i have got a window in which all the k numbers are present you can use set here also if you want and then i have all the numbers so i will increment my answer value that okay now the first portion of the sequence i can fill so answer will increment by 1 and then so answer is 0 that is uh, that is why it incremented 1 so now uh, and uh, mp is clear like because now i've created and find out the value for one portion i'll go to the next portion counter equal 0 that no so it's like starting a fresh from the next window finding out all the k numbers in the later half of the rolls i have and the answer is answer plus 1 because i can form the answer for the first position like the first sequence value but they want what is the smallest value for which you cannot find the answer for one i can find the answer but for two i can find the answer so the, whatever answer i have will give me that for which i have like i can find the answer but for answer plus one i cannot find the answer because that is one more ahead of it so i will return that but the point so this is the oral logic and code part for the last problem from the bi weekly contest 83 I'm watching video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Let's keep coding and bye.